And welcome back to the showroom presents. Well, summer is here, and that's supposed to mean relaxed and laid back, right? Well, with work and family, along with activities, this can make the morning routine a bit tough. Here to help is lifestyle expert Elizabeth Mayhew with some tips to make it just a bit easier. Welcome, Elizabeth, to the showroom presents. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. So tell us, where do we start? Where do we start making our life easier? Well, it starts by having a good breakfast. So many of us run out the door in the morning, we grab something and we're full or we're, we're hungry by mid-morning when we want to stay full throughout uh, leading us up into lunchtime. So it starts with a good breakfast and that can be hard for a lot of people because it means work. Well, I want to tell you about a line of breakfast items from Tyson Foods that are delicious, mm. quick, and they're satisfying. They're called Tyson Day Starts Breakfast Sandwiches. They come in varieties like croissant style flatbreads, homemade omelets wrapped in thin flaky bread, and biscuit sandwiches. The key to them is, is that they have 24% of the daily protein required. Protein wow. is what keeps you full. It's what keeps you going all day long. Talk to anybody, they'll tell you that that's the secret. They're made with real cheese, eggs, vegetables, Tyson chicken, ham, reduced fat sausage. And they come in seven different options, so you're sure to find one for everyone in your family. There's a um, southern style chicken biscuit, a crispy wrapped omelet, even a flatbread sandwich that has eggs, cheese, and bacon. So super what? easy to make. You just pop them in the microwave for less than two minutes. They're good to go. You find them in the freezer section of grocery stores nationwide. And for more information, you can go to TysonDaystarts.com. TysonDaystarts.com. Well, they sure do. It, it sure does sound like they make it easy for you. I mean, and basically a sandwich that you can you can make in less than two minutes. I mean. Boy, by the time you put them in right before, uh, you know, you brush your teeth and uh, you'd be ready to go. That's right. And again, the key is the protein. I mean, to make eggs and bacon and sausage and everything in the morning is so hard. Well, they do the work for you so you can trust that you and your kids will be full until lunchtime, which is so important. Now, another thing I like to do is to make smoothies. Gives you that jolt of vitamin C. Plus, you can use yogurt. And, of course, you can take advantage of all of the delicious fruit that's available right now. But the trick is making sure. it the night before. I mean, so much of this is about being prepared for the morning. Mm. If you make it the night before, you go ahead, you put it in your blender, then just pour it into a thermos. It'll stay nice and frosty. That way, put that thermos in your refrigerator. That way in the morning, you just take it out and pour it and you're good to go. Same thing. Now that's something I never, I never would have thought of doing. Yeah, well, because it, again, it's like, I, I, you try. I play a game with myself. Anything I can do to be prepared the night before, I'm gonna, or the day, you know, the night before for the next morning, I take advantage. I make it a game. Make sure. it a game for your kids. Get them involved. Listen, if you start good habits now and get kids into a pattern, it'll carry them right through to back to school days. It's super important. Right, right. You know, one of the things you can do to keep the kids busy, too, is if you have them pick out all the seeds out of strawberries, it keeps them busy for hours. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I remember doing that with watermelon, but now the seeds are gone from watermelon. You can't even find a watermelon with seeds anymore. I know. They took that joy away from us, huh? Yeah, the spitting contest. It's such a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so what other tips do you have? So the other thing I like to do is have my coffee ready the night before. I don't know about you, Rick, but I cannot survive without coffee. The Me thing too. is, is I go ahead, I set it up the night before, I put it on a timer, and I happen to in the, I don't know how cold or how warm it is right now in Buffalo, but it's getting up to the 90s today in New York City. So Ooh. I like to have iced coffee, and the trick to a good iced coffee is by taking leftover coffee, pouring it into a... Uh, old-fashioned ice cube trays and freezing those that way you have coffee cubes so as the coffee cubes melt they don't dilute your your perfect Java blend Wow that is a great idea that is a great idea you can do it with iced tea too you know when you just get that perfect mixture of milk and sweetener and coffee well you don't want a bunch of watery ice cubes to melt it down that's true. And you know that, I mean, I, I guess if you think about it too, you could probably do that with some other, you know, some other uh, d different types of beverages too. It, I'm it's curious great as with how fruit it might juices, work with juice. Fruit juices. Yeah. And if you add, fr you put those, you freeze those and then take like a cranberry or a grape, whatever, and add it to some seltzer. As it melts, it just um, gives it a little bit of a 
a nice tint and a nice, and also it looks really pretty. If you want to know another trick, you can take ice cube, you know, take the ice cube tray, pour in some juice and then put a couple berries in each. So as it melts, you also have the little berries floating like for a berry iced tea. It's a very, very good idea. Wow, see that's what happens when you have a creative mind. I wish I had one of those. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's just like stuff that, you know, you try to think. I mean, again, this is about things that I do with my own family and my own kids. If you start now during these summer months when they think they're on a break, you can trick them in to making good habits. Like I like to have a little race in the morning, give them two minutes, see how much they can accomplish, have them race to make their beds. I have my kids race against one another. Again, a little bit of healthy competition can get a lot done in the morning. Wow. Well, Elizabeth, you've, you've shared some really great ideas with, uh, with the folks at home here in uh, Western New York, and we, we really appreciate you uh, being a guest on the Showroom Presents today. Well, thank you so much for having me, and have a great summer and some good mornings ahead of you. Don, you call that showing off? How about the dazzling diamond deals we're showing off at the Showroom on Union? Diamond engagement rings. Diamond band. Diamond anniversary. Diamond fashion. Diamonds, diamonds, and, and more, more diamonds. diamonds. All at a fraction of the pricey stores. And buy with confidence because all showroom diamonds will come with a Gem Lab certificate as requested, guaranteeing natural diamonds of value. Don't forget, we feature GIA certified diamonds. Showing off great diamonds and great deals every day. At Airport Plaza Jewelers, the Showroom on Union.